Hi everybody, this is Kelly, the girl in the blue glasses, and I just wanted to show you my um, paint chip flip book that I made for one of my pen pals, and um, I kind of fell in love with this idea and wanted to record it before I sent it out into the mail um, so you guys could kind of see what I had done. So I just went to Walmart, and as you can see, these are just little paint chips that I had gotten at Walmart, and I got a couple different colors. I ended up with a coral... I got some teal, some yellow, and black and white. And um, the back sides of these had pictures on them. It wasn't like just a solid white color. It was like information about the paint. So I decided to sew mine together. And you can see that I like the roughness of um, the extra strings that are on there and um, that my lines aren't perfect. But I think that's kind of what's cool about the handmade. So um, I apologize, the reflection, my ceiling fan was kind of making us all a little strobe lighty right there. So um, yeah, I just kind of decorated the front of this with her name and I loved this little picture that I had. I ended up, you can kind of see, um, embroidering over the picture. So some of my crosses up at the top were not done and then the rest of them are. So when you feel that and touch it, it's got a little bit of a texture to it. And then I also, um, sewed some pom-poms onto the bottom just for a little bit of extra fun and flair. I used just a basic, this is probably like a one inch, um, sorry about that, about a one inch, uh, like binder ring for, um, holding all of it together. Get my everything reset. There we go. And it made it just real easy to put all of this in place. So, as you can see, um, I set it up so that when I flipped it, everything faced the same direction. And I chose this real pretty, like, buttercup yellow uh, to go on the other side. And um, I just thought it would be kind of fun to do some, you know, fun random questions for her to fill out as she's doing this. So I asked her if, what her five um, favorite syndicated TV shows were. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of a neat idea. And then I have this cute little envelope already and I just punched a hole in it and sent her some of my favorite planner goodies. This little popcorn from Sugar Loop. How cute is that sticker? And then of course there's some coffee cups and some little peeps and um, just some fun things that she can play with. She is a planner lover like me. And so I went ahead and um, stuck those in there because I knew she'd like it. And I added a little tab over here. Um, so moving on to my next page. On the back side of that, um, I printed a picture of a quilt just on my Polaroid printer a while ago. And I loved the colors and I thought it was really fun and um, do more of what makes you happy. Just some neat washi under there. So she can take that Polaroid off and um, do whatever she wants with it a little bit later. And um, I also included some handmade papers. I think this was a watercolor um, scrap that I had and I used some of my uh, Valerie Wiener's uh, stamps and it says he says I am beautiful chosen adored changed his and I used my embossing stuff on that and I really liked how it turned out and again that one was just kind of fun yellow on the back she can take that out and use it for anything she likes really and here comes my mint I guess it was more of a mint and not so much of a teal. Let's get that up there. And um, I added a little pocket to this one. It says today, I'm excited about life and I have a little feather stamp on there. And I like to just kind of tuck in some fun little goodies so that she's getting some presents to unwrap as she goes along. So butterfly stamp, a few extra little trinkets and pieces and I was made to live original card. I think that was a free printable from Illustrated Faith. So all that's tucked in there really nicely. And then when we flip this, I gotta scoot it back down again. Um, I attached a little shaker for her with this adorable little clip. You can kind of see there goes my shaker. It says find your wings and so there's a feather. Um, Kind of shake that around. You can see I stamped some leaves and then there's some arrows in there and things like that. And then just the pink and orange and stuff on the back too. So I gave that to her, made her a little note about when I made it. Fun little 
rainbow and everything too. So she gets to unwrap all kinds of fun goodies. It was actually a lot of fun to just find stuff to be sticking all over this and filling it up with so that um, she always sends me amazing stuff. I have so much fun opening her little packages. So I wanted to do the same thing for her. Then I made her a little um, washi card. I loved this. I had this little picture of washi down here. So I added a little tab and when it's all closed, that hangs out the bottom and I kind of made it longer on purpose. But I just sent her some fun different washies that I had um, samples so that she could kind of have those as well. And this was a white card uh, next and I wanted to kind of play up with it. I had this currently thing so she can fill that out. I had made this little tab so she can open it up and just a cute little picture of paint. She is a mixed media artist like I am so I knew she would love just kind of these fun small little details. Um, and one of my friends Elaine Davis has uh, craft cake designs on Etsy and she has just the cutest printables and things like that. So I sent her a little package of loot in there um, that she can use again in her planner or whatever. Um, and then this part, I just covered up. I sent her a personal note um, and I with a little Polaroid of something. And um, she just has meant a lot to me and has been on my mind recently. And so I wanted to create something kind of special for her. So I kind of that was just for her and I kind of covered it up. But again, I wanted to add more fun stuff in here. So I got a couple of tags and a little wooden button that she can take off and use however she wants to. And here's my letter. And just for fun, I kind of stuck this little tree on here because why not have a flap? And then ended it up back here with this picture and one last tag. So this was how I used um, paint chips to make my own little flip book. And um, now you can do the same. Make some Happy Mail for a friend, fill it with all kinds of surprises, and send it off to them. And I know that they will probably be super excited to receive such a personal gift. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, The Girl in the Blue Glasses, and Instagram the girl in the blue glasses as well. I also have a periscope and that name is the girl in the blue glasses, but it's spelled differently. It's the girl. Actually, it's just girl in blue B L U glasses. All right, must go. Bye-bye.